Hello guys, in this video we will continue a monthly tradition which you seem to like, which is monthly tips and tricks from Twitter that I gathered over the month. So in this video in September, this will be a recap of August tweets. I've gathered around 12 or so, let's see how many will there be. So without further ado, let's begin. The first tip comes from myself, and by the way, those tips are not necessarily about Laravel. In this case, it's about SQL, which is an advice before you run any delete or update statement in SQL in your SQL editor, SQL client, please run the select statement with the same condition. It may be select all records or select count just to check how many records you are updating because otherwise you may update or delete wrong records. And ideally you do not retype that condition, you just change the select to update and delete to avoid any typos or mistyping. And also in the comments to that tweet, which received 200 likes, there are a few good suggestions about transactions. So I will link that tweet in the description below and you may read all the comments with better ideas. The next tip comes from Osama here, filtering only real emails. What does it mean real emails? To avoid any bouncing of the emails that do not actually exist, one of the validation rules in Laravel is called DNS. So you may add to your email required email and then email DNS, which will filter out the obviously fake email addresses. The next tip is about PHP and about explode PHP function. I've noticed this slide while attending Laravel in Denmark, Laravel Live Denmark. Did you know that you can use explode PHP function like exploding by dash and specify not the array as a result, but specifically the first variable. For example, if you care about the first part only, you may have this syntax and also I retested similar syntax later after I got back from that conference. It does actually work. So with these brackets, you may specify just one variable or a list of variables you're expecting from the explode, only the ones that you actually care about. And this tweet is also valuable from the comments. So there are 22 comments and more discussions about how that actually works with a few alternative options like list, or explaining that it's actually a destructuring thing. It's not specifically related to explode functionality. So again, I will link that tweet in the description below and you may read all the context. The next Laravel tip, or in fact, it's a long tweet from Benjamin, but I did want to include that in this month list because it's a very good kind of a write up of the main things that you need to know about eloquent performance or Laravel performance in general. The most common problem is slow queries and you need to debug them. Then double check your loops because the loops will perform multiple operations. And a few more tips from Benjamin, like about live wire caching. So kind of a good checklist what to check to improve the performance. The next tip comes from myself again. And did you know that you can DD the SQL for debugging purposes? So instead of get, you may do DD row SQL, which appeared in Laravel 10 from what I remember. And and there are more methods. So I've opened the article on Laravel News about that, where Tobias actually released that function into Laravel. He's the author of the pull request, and the problem was the parameters. So from Laravel 10, it actually shows the value of the parameters instead of question mark, which happened before. Before Laravel 10, it used to be 2SQL or just DD, but it would not show the parameters. From Laravel 10, it does. The next tip is kind of two in one by two different people. So Nunu Maduru, core team member, is advising to add model should be strict in the app service provider to achieve these three things. So prevent lazy loading and a few more things. And I will link that in the description below the documentation around that. And also a similar tweet by Osama, prevent n plus one query issues. Again, in your app service provider, you may have prevent lazy loading, but also specify what to do in case of that violation happens. You may log it somewhere or inform someone or something like that. Okay, and we have a few more tips from myself here on my list. So one of those is class uses. And this is an example from our own Laravel daily source code. And in the models, we use a trait called searchable from Laravel Scout. And then elsewhere outside of the models, for example, in Laravel Scout aggregator, in this case, you may check if specific model class or any class uses a trait. So in our case, we're searching for searchable. If class uses that searchable like this, 
then we need to enable Laravel Scout for that. This is just a specific example, but the general idea is PHP function called class users, which checks if specific trait is enabled on a specific model, for example. Another tip is about PHP and about filter var method, and I had a separate video on that on my channel already, but one of the examples was did you know that you can filter validate URLs? The most common use case of filter var I see to validate email, but also, for example, like in this case, you may add HTTPS prefix if it doesn't exist. If, for example, someone enters laraveldaily.com without the prefix, you may have filter var and then add that prefix manually. And finally, in this video, three kind of general pieces of advice, not specifically tips. So advice number one is it really depends. This is my hat in the video. I will actually just put that on. So yeah, this is a purpose of that hat cap. So it depends on the situation. And this example of a tweet kind of strikes me with the amount of equal, almost equal votes for each option. And Laravel is full of such examples where it's a totally personal preference which structure or which method helper to use. So in this case, you can do a board 403 or use more human readable way with a constant. Another piece of advice is be careful with tutorials that are not from trusted sources also with tutorials by AI, because I found recently a tutorial about creating a package with this command that doesn't actually exist, which probably means that this article was generated at least partially by ChatGPT or something similar, because ChatGPT hallucinates quite often using some methods or structures that do not actually exist. So for example, when you get to tutorial and try to run this, you would get an error. So yeah, in these days and age of AI, I would really advise to check, double check the sources who are you reading from? And the final thing, not a tip, not an advice, but an article I want to re-emphasize as kind of the top thing from August, which received 150 likes. It's my article, link to my article, recapping everything that was said by Taylor Otwell at Laracon US 2024. It's pretty huge. So Laravel Cloud, Inertia, VS Code and stuff like that. When they're all released, of course, I will shoot videos about them. But for now, this Laracon US announcements kind of marks the new phase of Laravel as a framework, in my opinion. And similar was said by Aaron Francis on stage of Laracon US. So if you're not familiar with those new announcements, I will link the tweet in the description below so you may read my full recap. So yeah, these were the most kind of popular tweets from August. To be honest, Twitter became a bit worse in recent months or even weeks in terms of reach and likes and engagement. So I'm not sure if next week will be the same format of me picking the best tweets according to likes. Likes is not a great indicator anymore. So I'll figure something out. But did you like those random tips and tricks and thoughts? Do you have any comments about any of them? We can discuss in the comments below. And also I want to remind me that this week we have a promotion called Back to School, 40% off premium membership for lifetime or first year of yearly membership for Laravel Daily, where you receive all the premium membership benefits like courses, deep dive tutorials, access to repositories, future courses, Discord, and you also support others and support me that I can do free YouTube videos like this one you're watching right now. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.